Hello friends, welcome to the video series specifically for Oracle Date and its related functionality. In the previous set of videos, we have seen about the basic information with respect to Oracle Date Format components and few functions. As a continuation of that, in this video we are going to see one of the very rarely used functionality. However, this is very much useful in formatting the date. So what we are going to see in this video is the format element suffixes. Let me tell you where exactly this will be useful. So suppose if the input date is something like 25th March 21 or whatever the date and if the expectation is I need to print the date in, in a completely spelled out format something like this. So I want to print something like March 25th. See this it is not 25 it is 25th. Then 2021. Then how can we print? Because to extract the date information or each value from the date we have so many format for example to extract the date component we have this format to extract the month component we have these formats and to extract the year components we have these formats in fact we have seen all these things in detail in the first video however how can we print in a spelled out format or some or sometimes like uh, we need to display the date in a more readable format for example some cases we need to print the date something like 25th March see this 25th it's not 25 and in some cases we need to print in a spelled out or more readable format something like 25 March 2021 sometimes like 25th see the difference here it is not 25 25th similarly sometimes we need to print the spelled out here something like 25 March 2021st 25 March 2021 20 5 March 2021st. So whenever we get a requirement like this, how can we display? So that is what we are going to see in this video. So basically we are going to learn two uh, format specifier. In fact, we need to say that it is a, a format suffix which you are going to add at the end of the format so that this will either display the ordinal number or the spelled out word. Okay, let's see how to print this information. Let's take the input date like 25th March 2021. I'm going to use like to care function. So to care of first let us print like DD month YYYY. So basically this will print the date, month and year. So basically what we are going to do is we are just going to learn two suffix element which will either print the information in the ordinal number format that is something like first that st or second means nd third means that rd so that is the ordinal number or a more like a spelled out number like 25 means 25 in the spelled out format so for that we are just going to use two uh, suffix the first suffix is called th so you add this th which will print 25th okay let me do one thing let me just put this as like date format 1 let us just copy the same thing and let me put date format 2 so in the date format 2 let me just put th you can see the difference so in the first date format we just print 25 and in the second case it is like 25th suppose if the input date is like 01 it will print like first 01 st if it is like 2 it will print like 02 nd okay that is the th format suffix okay very similar to that we have one more uh, format suffix that is called sp stands for spelled out so instead of th let me put sp so what this will do it will just spell out the date like 2 march suppose let's say let us give input like 25 that is 25th march so in that case it will give 25 that is the spelled out date so we can even combine the th and sp together either you can say sp th or you can say th sp both will give the same thing suppose if i say th alone or let me say sp here so sp will give you 25 whereas when you add th along with that it will give 25th so let me just give some other date let's say 03 march so the first one will give you 3 here it will give 3rd march so this is not only applicable for date component it's applicable for year also so let us apply the same thing for year so when i give sp it just spell out the year 2021 
same thing let me put sp and let me add th so in this case 2021st so here it is 2000, 2021 because it is just sp in this case along with spelled out here i am putting th so if you put only th it will just give that either st or nd or rd depends on that number so these are the two format specifiers or the format suffixes we should understand one is like sp and another is th sp is to give, get the spelled out name th is to get the ordinal number and in fact we can combine both together so either you can say sp th or you can say th sp something like that both are same one more very uh, important thing there is something called format modifier so that is called fm or fx okay so you can see the difference here when you say fm the unwanted space blank spaces will be removed let me just take the same thing and let me put fx instead of fm you can see the difference the spaces after the march is actually removed in the first format so this is just to format the uh, spaces in the date if any so here is the learning so here is the snippet from oracle documentation we can use like th which will give something like this four we can use sp that is the spelled out number so it will just give four so either we can use sp th or th sp so that instead of four we can print something like fourth so so let us try to uh, resolve this problem now so my input is actually 20 5 march 21 so basically what i need is first i need month so i just got the march then i did then i need like uh, the date so dd i just want it to be in the spelled out format so let me put sp and i just need the fifth so let me put th so now we got like march 25th then year so year in a spelled out format so let me put sp so we don't want this unnecessary space so let me put fm here that is the fill mode so the unnecessary space will be removed i want to print this in the initial capital uh, letter so let me use the init cap function on top of this so we just got whatever the expected output here If you have learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video interview question sql practical question and concept videos if you want any questions to be answered you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id and thanks a lot for watching this video